Within days of Kylie's disappearance, we were introduced on Ikid Mel's channel to Megan Cole. Megan presented herself as someone with close ties to Sammy, who wanted to stand up for the underdog. Over time, Megan began appearing on more and more panels, and even began her own channel. She admitted to doing her own sleuthing, interviewing children who'd apparently been at the party, and even allegedly being led by a somewhat adventurous mouse to a witness, claiming to have seen headlights near the water on the night of Kylie's disappearance. Megan led us to believe that she knew far more than most about what happened to Kylie, and certainly there were times when her emotional reactions led us to believe that she was carrying a crushing weight of some truly horrific knowledge. We all wanted to know what Megan knew, and for those of us who were desperate to achieve justice for Kylie, we spent countless hours analysing Megan's words, trying to find the truth, and feeling angry that Megan would not do the right thing and speak up for Kylie. It has been worthwhile taking the time to analyse what Megan has said in relation to Kylie's case. There are consistencies and inadvertent slip-ups which have allowed us to gain a clearer picture of what may have happened to Kylie. In the pursuit of truth and justice, however, people have somehow forgotten to separate Megan's words and actions from who she is as an individual. It should be possible to dislike the words and actions of an individual and even feel a degree of anger over them without allowing that to define who that person is as a human being. Sure, Megan has acted at times in a narcissistic manner. She's behaved horribly on occasions, doxing people, spreading malicious rumours, and even at times saying things which could be interpreted as threats or attempts at blackmail. These are not behaviours that should be excused, and it can be hard to forgive a person for things such as these. Understandably, there are people out there who now claim quite vehemently that they hate Megan. The problem now is that things have escalated to a point where it is damaging the fight for justice. There are people who will remain loyal to Megan Cole for as long as they are able to find drama and take it back to her and watch the fallout. People who sit in Megan's chat and continue to add fuel to the fire to ensure that Megan continues to rant and become all the more angry or upset. These same people will then encourage risk-taking behaviours and at those times when Megan has become so irate that she's stepped beyond what is decent and is behaving in a manner that in reality should result in her channel being shut down, will do their best to add fuel to the fire, simply for their own enjoyment. These are people who care about drama, rather than about individuals. On the other side of things, the search for truth by creators appears to have degenerated into some kind of cruel sport for some, where content is made purely for the purpose of upsetting Megan and causing her to go off her rocker. Where has this gotten us? There are now clear lines drawn in the sand. Megan now hates every content creator who talks about Kylie and has ever mentioned her name. Creators have begun putting out misinformation and tearing other creators to shreds. And the things that truly count seem to have been forgotten. We can be certain that at this point in time, Megan will not come forward and offer any more information in relation to Kylie's case. And it's unreasonable for us to continue to demand that she do so. While people continue to discuss Megan in any form, the hatred will simply continue to escalate. More creators will shy away from creating content about Kylie's case, as they're made to feel isolated from other creators, and see their view count diminish as more and more viewers choose to walk away from the drama. Here's the challenge for all content creators. Firstly, find a new focus for your Kylie content that will take us all back in a more positive direction. For now, forget about Megan's existence. Let her build her channel away from all things that connect to Kylie's case. If you're not talking about Megan, then the drama leeches will drop away from her channel. 
she will stop attacking creators and move on to those things which make her channel unique and interesting. The furry conventions, bingo nights. Hopefully not any more stunts like jumping into an icy cold Lake Tahoe. Because at the end of the day, surely there would be no one out there who would wish to see her come to harm because of unnecessary risk-taking behaviours. Let's all now do two simple things. Firstly, for one last piece of content on Megan Cole, the challenge is this. What is something positive that you can say about Megan as a person? Here's something to get things started. Megan has a childlike sense of curiosity and adventure, which, when put to positive use, can lead to some truly entertaining content, such as her coverage of the furry convention. She's willing to share her imperfections, showing us her daily dramas, her dog Ginger deciding to take her for an impromptu walk, her so very ADHD attempts to sort out a broken washer, her struggles with her mental health and so much more. Finally, let's all step away and just allow Megan to be Megan. Just stop even mentioning her name. Don't respond to anything that she may say on her channel or on other people's panels. Ignore those creators who continue to pursue her. Let bygones be bygones. We all need to stop, breathe and change direction before we reach a point where everyone has been driven away from Kylie's case and the chance for justice has been all but destroyed.